Hey everybody, what's up? This is uh, ChiliDude27, and welcome to part 8 and a half of Ratchet and Clank. In the last episode, we had some extreme failure at this part, and I just decided to cut it because we need to time it. End this episode. We'll be further continuing this part of the park station. This is going to be a short video because, you know, I just wanted to finish what I was doing here. Um, let's see, more boxes. There's boxes in these things, and uh, up there on that uh, light right there, there's an uh, opportunity to get gold bolts. It's in the secret room. Go ahead and uh, find it. Um, for this part, it's very, very helpful to have the bomb glove if you've run out of ammo for the, doom, for the glove of doom, like I have. Uh, basically, you can use the bomb glove to destroy those far off uh, generators, and you can also use the bomb glove to kill these mutants, even if you're not even standing on the same panel. It's actually really, really useful. Uh, even if, okay, the thing about the mutants is that if you hit them with your wrench, or hit them with any other weapon other than the bomb glove or the glove of doom, they will snap at you very, very quickly. So do not, I repeat, do not use your wrench on those things. It is very, very bad. You will get quickly swarmed under, you will die, and you will have to start over. Punishment is painful. Um, anyway, just uh, go through with the bomb glove, destroy everything, kill the mutants. Now for this part, this next boss fight, you do need, and I repeat, you need the glove of doom. Um, I really should have gotten some ammo beforehand, but I didn't. Anyways, um... So go back and refill your ammo if you don't have any, and you will see why you actually need the Glove of Doom here in a little bit. Um, well, let me see. I got some great um, bargains for you today. Here's the ammo. All right, now I'm gonna go back. I'm going back. Stretch jump. Go back. Okay, now the reason why you need the Glove of Doom for this boss fight, do not use any other weapons other than maybe the Suck Cannon for the for its Swarmers. Yeah, it is a big, big thing. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, don't bite me now. Okay, alright, now, while you're running around this room, you have to turn this, toss a Glove of Doom, toss an Ape of Doom out every once in a while. It will help you very much. This is how you mainly want to fight this thing. Now, when you drain a third of its health, it'll bring down one of two things. It'll bring down these little frog things that gave us so much trouble last time. And it will also bring down... <coughs> yeah, there's actually two waves of frogs. Anyways, okay. And there's actually two waves of frogs. And afterwards, after you're done with the frogs, it's gonna charge at you again. Just do the same thing that you did before. Um, only this time I'm running in the opposite direction, mostly just because I don't feel like it hurt. Okay. Now, third of itself is almost down. And here we go. Okay, now, when you drain another third of its health, it'll bring down two of the mutants. You know, the ones that, uh, bite at you. You just want to get out your glove of doom and just take care of them. Or smack them with the wrench if you have them down to one hit point. And basically, rinse and repeat. Just do the same thing you did before. Yeah, did it before. After you kill it, you can just run around and get these boxes if you feel like. But personally, I did not feel like it, so I'm just going to get a few of them and use some nanotech. And, uh, okay. I'm going to go through here. And you'll see, yeah, uh, one of my favorite characters in this game, mostly just because I like the sound of his voice. Alright, smack the frogs that are attacking him, Thought and I was a goner here this time. it is. Some nano wit and the genetics gadget must have engineer left the open of again. Chairman Drex Flag Station. Honestly, a gadget engineer deserves a bit more respect, if you ask me. So, you are yes, an he is an inventor. Gadget engineer. Only for some reason he I prefers the title of gadget engineer. I really never understood that. Chairman but whatever. Instance, Anyways, he will give you the, the uh, patented grind soon to be patented grind boots. Which Ratchet keeps for like Look, the next I, nine I, I years or so. Of here so I can find a new job. Actually, no, he gives him the clank in the these? next game for some reason. But he gets him back so, and then he keeps him for a really, really long time. Your scrawny and for some reason, even though this is reported to be one of the only pairs in the galaxy, there's grind rails pretty much everywhere. I don't know why. Well, thanks. Okay, I'm well, gonna get buy the grind boots. Well, Two thousand dollars. Jeez. The future sure has a problem with inflation. I mean, two thousand bucks for a pair of shoes. Wow. 
Okay, you just want to jump on this grind rail. This one has absolutely no challenge to it whatsoever. You just basically have to wait for Ratchet to get to the end. There's no enemies, no nothing to do. Anyways, while you're on the grind rails, you can smack people with your wrench. Later on, there will be stuff on the grind rails. Um, if you press, if you hold the left analog stick and um, in a certain direction and press X, you can jump in that direction. You can just press X to jump straight up if you want. You can use your weapons while you're on here, and I like to do this. Wham! Yeah, smack Ratchet's face. Okay, well, um. And that just about does it for this episode. So, next time on Ratchet and Clank, we will be going to the next planet in the galaxy, which is, um, uh, Blackwater City of Planet Rilgar. Alright, see you guys then.